Hello, the game is Once Human. Just came out yesterday. I've been having a blast in it. This video is about the friend code invite. What it's about, how to do it, how to get the free weapon, all the details. It took me a while to figure this out. There was a lot, there's a lot of misinformation online, a lot of people not really explaining things right, and it was kind of hard to, you know, put it all together a little bit. So I figured it's a good opportunity for me to make a quick video on how to do it. So what is it? So when you're between level 1 and 10, or I should say 1 and 9, you want to get an invite code from somebody. Accept them as a friend, and then you get a XP bonus, 10% XP bonus until level 30, plus a f potentially a free weapon, a good weapon. Maybe a bad weapon if they're, you know, a bull. So let me go over that. So what you want to do is hit F3, right, to go into your menus, your event menu. And then you want to go to event, and then to accept invitation. And here, when you get an invitation that's going to look like this number here, like this is my number here, so if you wanted to use mine, hint, 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 use mine. No, just joking. Not trying to push my number. But um, what you would do is you would put the code in here, hit claim, and then whatever weapon that this level 10 plus dude is sharing, you'll get that weapon. It'll come to you, you'll be able to get it. You'll get this chest that has some doodads in it. Um, and then I'm thinking you get this, I don't know, I don't know if it says activated after being invited to Link, so I'm assuming this is activated now, but 10% experience and battle pass experience up to level 30, that's a pretty big deal. 10% bump up until level 30. And then this is the guy that I took his invite. So what I did is I went to Discord, and I looked, and people were posting their codes with screenshot, and I like this weapon. And when I was doing it, other people were like, watch out, this guy's a scammer. He's sharing, like, green pistols being a butthole. You know, he was saying he was sharing something else, but when you accepted a code, he was, like, sharing a we really weak weapon just to screw people over. So be careful. You know, it's a little risky. Like, I did this. I took the leap and took his invite, and I was like, okay, yeah, it's a good weapon. So my wife and my kid did the same thing and got the good weapon, right? So I took the took the potential scam, and it turned out well. So... If you don't want to go through that, feel free to use my code. I'll link it in the description. You know this is what you're getting. Um, and then, so that's between 1 and 9. So you want to do that right off the bat. Get this, get a good weapon. You can upgrade this weapon um, and, and it, as you level up. So when you're level 10, you'll then get this gather friends window. And you can come in here and it'll say your invitation code, which is basically just your user ID with YQ in front of it, right? And then why, why do I want to share this? Because you get points. So you get these points every time somebody accepts your code. So you can see, here's the weapon that I'm sharing, right? So if you put my code in, you get this weapon. If you're on the same server as me and we meet up, you can get a meetup pack. I think we both get it or something like that. Um, I shared it on the server, on my server, so I think I'll be able to get this. You don't. You can get codes from cross servers, but I don't think you'll ever be able to meet them because I don't think you can meet people on other servers like the guy that got me my code he's on a whole different server i still show him as a friend i show him as a cross server friend so anyway that's the deal so one to nine get your weapon get your bonus xp and then when you turn 10 if you want to hustle you can hustle your code why what's the carrot to hustle you get points that you can spend for some limited cosmetics so i right now i have 1200 points i just started this 30 minutes ago or whatever and then decided to do a video on it once I figured out how all this stuff worked um, you get some points and then you can use it to buy some stardust or some star chrome which I think these are meh me I like the cosmetics better I'll probably go with like the mask first and then this weapon skin and then this decoration for your house and then if I get enough points I'll do that well this one is actually only 10 so I could buy that real quick um, and that's it. I, I don't think this is anything here. Redeem. Yeah. So this is this is why you're hustling. This is all you get. Some cosmetics. It's not a big deal if you miss out on that. If you don't feel like hustling for it. I just figure why not. I got a good weapon. Why not share it? Get my stuff. Um, but that's about it. Yeah. So what I do is I just, you know, I just copy paste my link into here. It doesn't, it's limited, but you know, and then some people on my server will see that. Hopefully they don't ignore me. I try not to do it, but like maybe once every 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so it doesn't bother people. And then I'll get some invites. And then I'm also posting in Discord. So it's not that hard to hustle. Um, 
if you want some invites. There's a channel on the uh, main Discord that you can uh, go check out and see other people sharing some stuff and seeing what kind of weapons they got. And So either use mine or go there and uh, figure that out. That's it. I think, did I ramble much? A little bit. Um, that's it. You can end the video now. And now I'm going to talk about the game, if you don't know what this game is. It's kind of weird, like, getting the information for this game. To me, this game feels like Fallout 76. It's a big open world, right? Here's the map. I can't move it. So I don't have a lot of them still in the new, two newbie areas. Um, but it's a big map. Kind of reminds me of Fallout 76. You can go wherever you want, and they got different events. Random events will pop up, and bosses will pop up that you can unlock stuff. Um, you can unlock... Uh, you can unlock these little pets, right? The diggy boy, the mini feaster. I got the butterfly that you get in my backpack, and you, you put them in your backpack, and then you can activate them. Then they help you do battle, right? So that's kind of cool. So it's kind of like a little Pokemon vibe, little pet vibe that helps you with battle. Uh, you get a little blob. The second one you get is like a little blob that you put down, and he's like a shield that you can hide behind him. Um,. So it's kind of like Fallout 76 a little bit um, in the world and in the base building, right? So um, I'm not at my base, so I can't show you, but the base building is very similar to Fallout 76. It's just better, much better um, in the fact that you could design. Like, here's a, here's somebody's house, right? He could, he designed that house. He can save that blueprint, pick it up, and put it anywhere he wants. So if he wants to move that someplace else, he can. And then all the people's houses are all out in the world. You plop them wherever you want. You know, there are some spots that are limited where you can plop them. So I thought that was pretty neat. That's very Fallout 7060 to me. Um, the servers hold like 4,000 people, I think, each. And then within each server, there's different instances. I think this one has like five or six or seven different instances. They call them worlds. So if you look in the upper right corner, it says World 7 for me. Oh, my God. It's almost 12 o'clock already. Time is flying in this game. That means I like it. When time just zips by for me when I'm playing a game, that means I'm having fun. I'm not even realizing how many hours I'm spending on this. Um, yeah, so, like, if you want to play with your friends, you all have to be in the same instance, right? And, yeah, I think your house is in that instance. You can't move it to another instance, I think. I'm not sure about that. Um, but it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat on how they, how they did everything. Oh, somebody met me. Oh, that's one of the... That's one of the people. I don't know how to do it. Emote. Read it. Got my cat box on. I'm an idiot. Anyway, yes, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yes, you want to trade with me? Uh, I hope they're not expecting me to give them the gun. <laughs> that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Uh. Meeting gift promise pack. Yeah, I don't know what she wants. Why? Are, why is everybody meeting with me? I hope they don't think that they get the gun from me. <laughs> That's not how it works. You just get it in your inventory. You get it in your mail. Uh, I'm sorry. This is gonna make the video long. What the heck is that? That's one of her pets. Oh, I, that's I don't like that pet. It's like a tentacle pet. Oh, how did I change my over shoulder to the right side? There's still a lot I gotta figure out about this game. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so it's like Fallout 76. Um, did you? Get the right. Um, yeah, sorry, getting distracted. Yeah, so she got her rifle. Um, so it's like Fallout 76, and then, um, what other game? Oh, Seven Days to Die. It feels the, the like gathering resources feels very Seven Days to Die ish, crafting workstations. You, you know, the little storage chests and uh, your your 
materials get pulled right from your storage chest, which is real nice. A lot of quality of life features to this game. Um, you know, vehicles, like seven days to die, but it's obviously a little upgraded. So it's just a, just a fun overall kind of game. I don't know the longevity of it. Like, will this keep my attention as long as Fallout 76 did? It's, it has seasons. So this is on a seasonal server. And, um, you know, it resets every so often. And one of the cool things about the seasons is, is there are different things that happen in the seasons. Like the, the server lifetime is broken down in like six or seven different parts. And depending on what they are, different things unlock and different boss events will happen. So right now it's like a newbie season. So if you do start this, let's say you're watching this video a month from now and you, and you start this, you'll want to look for a server that's fresh or new that's like on day one or day five or something like that or day ten. I don't know what the days will be, but, you know, you'll want to look at the age of the server if you want to start fresh with everybody else. But maybe you want to maybe you want to jump in when everything's unlocked and do whatever. So. Yeah, it's pretty pretty interesting game. I, I didn't follow it, so all this is new to me. Maybe I'll do some tutorial videos, but I just, like I said, I wanted to do this invite one because it was it's confusing as heck. A lot of this stuff is confusing. You know, you got to figure it all out. But um, so far, it doesn't look too, like there's not a lot of pay to win. There's a lot of stuff you can spend money on. But, um, all right, why did I get more friendship points? But, um... Oh, cool. Yeah, so I got a world. I got three people from World 7, one person from World 6. Oh, uh, yeah, then I got some cross servers. Wait, so why is saying World 6 isn't a cross? Oh, so these, these are people on my server. He's just on version World 6 on my server. And then these are people from other servers. So PV, PV, wow, why is PVE01? Why are all these people from PVE01? Are they seeing my chat? Or are they from Discord? That's strange. Anyway. That's the video. Sorry I got distracted when that person came up. That was unexpected. But neat to show that she came up. And because she was near me, we got the bonus uh, box, I guess. I don't know where that would be at. How I claim that. A lot of my time is just spent looking through like all the stuff that they throw at you. Oh, got another one. Bing! Anyway, check the game out. It's free, by the way. I, I mean, you know, that let me, my wife, and my kid download it the day it came out and play it together and try it out see if it was crap or not. And we all, we were having a blast. I'll probably post some of the videos. Like, you know, I don't want to spoil anything. One one tip I said, don't watch any videos. Just just play it. There's a lot of cool things that you'll run into. And you'll be like, whoa, that's, that's crazy. Um, and if you watch videos, then you won't have that initial surprise you know you'll be like oh yeah that's the thing i watched on the video that would be my one advice uh, my advice for you don't spoil it if you're new to this game anyway i'll see you guys later keep an eye out for other videos uh subscribe if you're not subscribed and see you when i see you if i knew how to do an emote i would do a goodbye emote right now but i forget the hotkey for the emotes all right talk to you later